how to add sections in your Shopify's page. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can basically add pages into your Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to go up over to Shopify and create an account. And you can create an account very simply. You can even create a you know temporary account you know a trial on a trial basis for 14 days and once you have that you can begin with this video so first things first when you come over here this is how it's going to look like you're going to have all these different types of options in front of you as you can see you have add pages over here you can go ahead and add pages by this by using this option as well but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have like a detailed version of it so we're going to have two options basically we're going to go over to on the left side over here and click on online stores and over here we're going to basically see the theme of our store and we can go ahead and customize it if we click on customize it or you know view it we can go ahead and see what it happens so over here this is my store as you can see this is how it looks like and it's pretty simple nothing added over here and it's really blank so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more sections to it so over here on the left side as you can see we have customization option if we click on actions we have rename duplicate download file edit code and stuff like that we have customize option if we click on customize it'll take us over to the uh, editor for shopify store where we can you know uh, start editing our theme we can start editing our you know website and over here we can add different options as well and we can even add different sections as well so this is the first method so over here on the left side you can see we have all these different options so at the bottom we have add a section option so if we click on add a section we can go ahead and add a section over here it can be anything so we have blog post collage we have collection lists contact form custom liquid you know email sign up featured icons and we have even more if we click on view more it'll load up a bunch of more options for us as you can see over here we can add these sections over here if we want to so this is the first option so if i click on add section let's just say i wanted to add like a uh like a collection list maybe over here at the bottom as you can see the collection list has been added right underneath video this is going to be the video and uh, over here we have a collection list that we have added and we can go ahead and add different things to it so this is how you do it the first time and once you've added it just simply you know click on save and it'll save your changes so that means that you have added a section to your website if i go over here onto my website if i come over here as you can see there's nothing yet let me just go ahead and refresh it okay it's been refreshed and as you can see we can view the collection option over here so this is where it looks like now this is the first way to add different sections into your uh, website now to we go back we exit the uh, editor and now we're going to add the second option so for this option it's a little bit more trickier it's a little bit more complex but it's not that difficult as well so if i come over here and click on pages i'm going to go ahead and add different pages i'm going to add a test page so see if how it looks like so i'm over here on pages and i'm going to click on add page let me just reload it something happened so over here once you click on add pages this is how it's going to look like so over here i'm just going to add like a test page all right so i'm going to write test over here and over here this is the default page over here and this is the contact page we can use the template as well so over here we just simply click on save all right as you can see the page was created view on your store let's go ahead and view this page on our store so as you can see this is how it looks like test so as you can see nothing really happened now if i click on the contact page over here and click on save all right I can go ahead and view that link and over here as you can see nothing happened let me just go ahead and refresh it and once we do that as you can see we have a contact form as well down below now how do we edit this section so now we go back now since it's a test page over here as you can see now we go back to our online store and over here we click on action and over here we click on edit code now before we do that i do want to tell you that to duplicate your website so that if anything happens you can go ahead and revert back so that nothing ever so that you don't mess it up so make sure to duplicate it and once you've done it click on edit code and if i click on edit code this is basically where you're gonna you know do some little bit of coding as well now don't worry it might look like a hectic you know something really bad but don't worry about it it's very it's cool nothing bad is gonna happen it's very simple all right so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options so we have the templates over here and we have the sections over here and uh, as you can see this is all the things that you're going to need this is the layout as well and over here and over here as you can see we only have two pages on our theme depending upon your theme you might have more or less 
pages depending upon which theme you're using so over here as you can see we only have two pages we have a contact page and a just a simple page all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new section okay i'm going to click on add a new template right and i'm going to change it to page and i'm going to change it to liquid json or whichever one you use this is the template type it all depends on you and i'm just simply gonna you know say i'm gonna write test test over here and i'm gonna click on create a template now as you can see uh, the template has been created successfully all right and as you can see there are no codes over here so if you have any codes just you can go ahead and delete them as well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into the section and over here we can see we have all these different types of templates and codes that are available to us through our theme because of what theme you're using you could have different ones as well or you know the same or it all depends on you all right and this is going to be your code all right you're going to add like a bracket a percentage sign and then space and then you're going to add a section and then you're going to add a single quote you know after the space and then you can write what which whatever you want within this code all right you can choose whichever one you want from this uh, section template over here and then you're going to add a space and then a percentage and then a curly bracket now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and copy this code all right and i'm going to hit enter and i'm going to paste it two more times so that we have three all right now what i want to do is i want to let's say i want to add something all right so over here i'm going to look at over here and let's just say we want a rich text all right so i'm just simply going to write rich text over here as you can see this is how it looks like and then what i wanted to do is i want to add like a uh, a newsletter so i'm just simply going to write newsletter and i'm going to erase the space is that all right and next thing i wanted to add is a map right so i added the map and stuff like that and once you have done that just simply click on save and that's basically it and also i just want to say that remember that in which order you write these texts all right write these sections there that's how it's gonna you know show you within that page so remember that so first we wrote rich text so we're gonna get rich text then we're gonna get the newsletter and then we're gonna get the map all right so once you're done just simply click on save and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the uh page sections over here all right i'm pivoting back to the pages section wait a couple of seconds for it to load i don't know why it's taking so long all right so over here we're gonna go back to add pages and over here we're going to see we have the new template that we just created it says test right over here so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to test and i'm just simply going to write uh test two all right as you can see and i'm just simply going to go ahead and save it page was created now let's go ahead and view it on our page so over here as you can see it's showing us up so this is what i also wanted to show you some of the sections won't work all right so as you can see the map section doesn't work right so over here so over here as you can see we wrote rich text newsletter and then map all right but uh it didn't show it, the map didn't work all right so this is what i was wanted to show you as well some of these sections don't and we can go ahead and edit all of these different columns as well it all depends on you some of my some of these work some of these don't as i just showed you uh, i don't know why the map didn't work but usually it should work so after that you can just go ahead and close it do your own experiments add whatever you want you can customize them however you feel like it so if i wanted to like so i if i wanted to like you know add like, or another thing i would just go ahead and go in there and i'm just could just simply go ahead and write like a uh, video all right just come over here and add like video click on save and if i go back over here if i reload the page as you can see the video appears so but the map doesn't so it all depends on you some of these work some of these don't so that's how you basically add different sections into your shopify pages so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as well so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye